Taliban spokesman said there'd been two explosions outside the building before the gunman entered. The IS affiliate in Afghanistan, ISK, has claimed responsibility for the attack. Across the road from the attack, families at another hospital watch on in horror. Outside, a man tries to crawl to safety. Inside, mothers and young children, terrified. Afghans had hoped scenes like this would come to an end now that the Taliban are in power. Instead, their fighters were amongst the victims of this attack, carried out by the local branch of the Islamic State group, or Daesh. The assault began with a suicide bombing, before gunmen tried to fight their way inside the military hospital. Helicopters were used to drop Taliban special forces into the site, according to the group. But outside this hospital, Taliban members were anxiously awaiting news of injured colleagues, former insurgents, now facing an insurgency themselves. <laughs> After the explosion, me and some of the other Taliban were helping carry injured people into the hospital, says this member of the group who was at the scene of the attack. A Daesh fighter pretended to help us too, but when we got inside, he took a pistol out and shot a Talib who was next to me in the head. The rest of us tried to escape. The Taliban are insistent on playing down the threat from IS. It's true they don't control any territory, but this is the fifth major attack they're suspected of carrying out since the Taliban took power. IS are challenging the Taliban's core narrative that they're finally bringing security to Afghanistan. IS accused the Taliban of not being hardline enough and the two are fierce rivals. This new Taliban government is beginning to face many of the same problems as the government they just overthrew. A dismal economy and now rising security concerns.